Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you a great feature to help increase usability and understanding of Power BI reports. This feature is the new Visual Header Tooltips, where you can set up helpful and informative bodies of text to help guide users on the data and functionality of the report and the visuals contained within. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So using this chart as an example, if I come over here and hover over the chart, you'll notice that there's an icon up here. That if I hover over this, gives me a body of text that I can customize that will then display for this specific visual. So let me go ahead and show you how to set that up and where this is located. And by the way, I just chose some random text to throw in there as some filler, but you can type in anything that you need. So if you come over here and select the visual, and you navigate over to the Format Painter, and come down to Visual Header. Go ahead and open that up. And the option to turn this on is now located down at the very bottom. You'll notice that if this is turned off, there's no additional menu below it. But as soon as I toggle this to On, and scroll down a little bit, there is now a new pop-up window for Visual Header Tooltip, in addition to that icon that shows up here. Now, a couple of things that you can specify. Right now, that tooltip text, as I mentioned, is available in here. That just types in whatever you want to show up when you hover. Unfortunately, that is limited to 250 characters, and you can't fit any more in there. But we'll talk about that in a second. And I can individually set the color. I can also set the background color. The one thing that does kind of annoy me is that I'm not able to set the color of the outline for the icon. Notice how I colored the icons over here white as part of the visual header settings here at the top. So I would separately like to be able to color the icon color over here. Hopefully that is addressed sometime in the near future. But I was trying to go for some consistency, which is why I ended up coloring this as well, a blue background with that white text. Now, besides the customization for this, one thing you can do to get around the 250 character limit is just like in visuals themselves with tooltips, I can also set this to a tooltip report page. Now, if you want to know how to make a report page tooltip itself, I will link you to the video right here that walks you through how to do that. But otherwise, let's just go ahead and set that to this. So I'm going to set it to another page that I have in this report called Info Tooltip. And that page, by the way, is this thing that I've set up here. All it is is a tooltip page with a big body of text that has additional text in there. And I can make this any size that I want to. And now, when I hover over it, I get a much bigger body of text showing up there. So that's my way to kind of work around with this and allow additional information as necessary that goes past the 250 character limit. Uh, technically, because it is a report tooltip, you can include visualizations and other stuff. Um, however, the one issue is, is that hovering over this will never apply any additional filter context. So in theory, you would need an individual um, hidden report tooltip page for every visual that you would want to do this on. Um, and there wouldn't be any filters coming from the visual itself when you hover over this. So for now, the best use case that I found for this is just to allow you to show additional text versus that 250 character limit. But that's about the extent of the report tooltips. You either have the option of the built-in one with characters up to 250, or you can create a hidden tooltip page as well to link to this. And then that allows you to circumvent that character limit and put as much text as you want in there. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that in the comment section below. And if this is the first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.